Number 1. Marshall's Beach. If you are looking for a hidden beach that also happens to have one of the best views of the Golden Gate Bridge, then Marshall's Beach is just the place for you. This is one of my absolute favorite spots in San Francisco, because it's got such a secluded feel, and that view simply cannot be beat. The best time to come to Marshall's Beach is for sunset, it is absolutely breathtaking here. Number 2. Corona Heights Park. Corona Heights Park not only boasts one of the best panoramic views in San Francisco, but hilly terrain and interesting red rock formations. While you can see the rocky crags from many points in the city, many people do not realize that the small park exists. You can also spot various wildlife in the park, from native reptiles, red-tailed hawks, and various butterfly species. Number 3. Seward Street Slides. He slides were designed by a local teenager, who won a design competition for the park. The slides are the main attraction of the park, but there is also a native plant garden and a little flat area at the bottom. Some tips for going down the slides, it will be much easier to slide down if you sit on a piece of cardboard, there is usually some lying around in the area, and keep your arms in to avoid scraping your elbows. Number 4. Camera Obscura. Sitting on the cliffs near Land's End and the Sutro Baths ruins in the outer Richmond neighborhood is the Camera Obscura, also known as the Giant Camera. Public support has kept the Camera Obscura open, and in 2001, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places, saving it from destruction. Number 5. Land's End Labyrinth. To reach one of the most secret spots in San Francisco, Follow the signs for the trail leading to Mile Rock Beach. Once at the bottom of the stairs, do not turn left to get to Mile Rock Beach, instead, go right and follow the trail under the trees. The stone labyrinth follows the design of a classic seven-circuit Chartres labyrinth. You'll find it set against a view of the dramatic coastline and the Golden Gate Bridge. Number 6. Bami Alley. There are several alleys in the mission that have a collection of murals, with Clarion Alley being perhaps the most well-known. Further south in the neighborhood is Bami Alley, which is less visited and one of the hidden place of San Francisco. The one-block-long alley is located in between 24th and 25th streets, and contains the most concentrated collection of murals in San Francisco. Number 7. Musée Mechanique. Musée Mechanique is located at Fisherman's Wharf, which is by far one of the most touristy spots in the city. But many people do not realize that one of the best San Francisco hidden place exists there. Musée Mechanique houses one of the largest privately owned collections of coin-operated antique arcade games and musical instruments. You'll see some unique finds here. Number 8. Lincoln Park Steps. San Francisco has no shortage of beautiful staircases, and the Lincoln Park steps may just be my personal favorite. These steps have sat on the western edge of the city, near the Legion of Honor and Land's End, and date back to the early 1900s. You can find them where California Street dead ends, near 32nd Avenue, next to the parking lot of the Catherine Del Mar Burke School. Number 9. Fort Point. San Francisco is full of interesting historic sites, many of which are some of the city's best hidden gems. One of these is Fort Point, which was built in the Civil War era, and has defended the city through the Gold Rush and World War II. You'll get such a unique perspective of the bridge here, because you're basically standing right underneath it. Number 10. Shakespeare Garden. This tiny but pretty little garden is one of the best San Francisco hidden gems located within Golden Gate Park. The garden contains more than 200 plants and flowers that are mentioned within the works of William Shakespeare, transporting visitors to the pages of his sonnets, comedies, and tragedies. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.